What's up everybody, it's your boy Alan Wade back again with another video. You see it, it's the Brother SE600 undefeated. And when you see this machine, you know exactly what time it is. It's time to embroider something, baby. Let's get busy right after the intro. Boom, wait a minute, just like that. Boom, 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 just like that. Eight, 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 productions, just like that. Like, comment, subscribe, just like that. Boom, wait a minute, just like that. Hey, Dub, you ready? Wait a minute. All right, you see it, guys. A brother SE600 sewing and embroidery machine. Guys, look at the screen. You see our design is about 10 minutes long, five minutes for the sunflower yellow, uh, five minutes for the black, and one minute for the chrome part of the design. We have our uh, fabric with our tearaway stabilizer. Just as a demonstration, we're using this. Um, no, we said we we're gonna be embroidering on clothes from now on, but as a matter of fact, this would be dope to embroider on a shirt. You know what? Let me switch it out. One, two, three. Look at that. Just like that, we have our shirt all connected and good to go. We got our cutaway stabilizer this time with the shirt. All right, now let's load up our first color. It's gonna be yellow. We've got our yellow thread right here. Let's just load it up into the SE600, guys. Got something to tell you guys, man. The SE600 was such a good buy before, but it almost doesn't make any sense anymore um, if you're new to embroidering um, to get the SE600 because just for a few dollars more, you can get the 19, guys. They like they priced them, they got them so close together in pricing now that it's just like ugh, it's just so tempting. The 19, right? SE19. All right, so. Got everything situated, ready to go. All the thing I do is push the button. Let's push the button so it can start embroidering this part of the design, guys. Right next to our Mickey Mouse there. Oh, and look at that. Check the upper thread. The upper thread came out. So, um, look, mistake as soon as we start it. So, pull this up. Get that upper thread. Pull some slack through. We can pull some slack through because we got this up, right? Now we're just gonna re-thread the machine. Boom, 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 boom. Pull the slack through. Just in case that happens to anybody, it's good for you guys to see this happen to me. All right, and I'm gonna trim it from right here now. Actually, that's still a little bit short. So let me pull a little bit more through, pull that down. And now, on the screen, I have to make an adjustment. Just press OK. And I'm gonna go back to the beginning of the design. All right, negative, negative. Now I'm at the back at the beginning. All right, negative 10, negative 10, negative 10. I just went all the way back to the beginning. Now, let's try that again. We're gonna be good, we're gonna be good, I promise you guys. Here we go. Like I said, we are gonna be good. Guys, when stuff like that happens, the key is not to panic. You never wanna panic because you have things under control. You just don't know that you have things under control. All right. So, um, guys, give this video a thumbs up. If it's your first time here, subscribe to the channel. I'd like to talk to you a little bit while this thing embroiders. If you are in the market for the uh, SC600, the SC625, the P800, the uh, SE1900, I would advise you guys right now, it's my advice to you guys to just go ahead and get the SE1900. Use my Amazon link down below to make your purchase. Use my Amazon link down below when you're purchasing anything on Amazon. It helps the channel out a lot and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. It keeps me motivated, keeps me making videos like this to share this information with you guys. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Thank you. This right here is a design that was digitized for a client of mine. And I thought it would be dope to show you guys this design because it is a cute little design and it's a simple embroider out. Um, prior to um, doing a lot of different videos, I used to, every time somebody emailed me and had me digitize, their design, I would make them a stitch along video, which is what this is right here. This is a stitch along video. So now I only do it by request. And this client didn't request this, but I thought it was a cute little design. And um, so I wanted to share it with you guys. But if you have a logo 
that you would like digitized, email me, adubproductions at gmail.com, A-D-U-B-B, adubproductions at gmail.com for a price quote. All right, you have to attach the attach the um, .png or JPEG or the image along with your email so that I can get back to you with a price quote. A lot of times people email me and they say, hey, I wanted to get a price quote on my design and there's no design on the email. I'm like, okay, well, it would have been a lot simpler if you just added the image, you know, why, when you sent the email. So, you know, the next, next email back to you is a, is a price quote. But, you know, some people, people don't do that. So, well, some people don't do that. And the third email is a price quote. But anyway, neither here nor there. No right or wrong way to do anything. But guys, I want to give you guys a tip real fast while this is embroidering out. Tip of the day for the SE600. All right, this is my 4x4 hoop right here. Sometimes this plate right here can get loose. When the plate gets loose, just grab yourself a Phillips screwdriver and tighten up the plate onto the hoop because this right here, just from it shifting, can mess up your design and throw stuff off. So that's another variable on the SE6 or any of these machines. When the plate screws get loose, it can move a little bit, cause a little bit of movement, causing your alignment to go off. So the tip of the day is to make sure your plate is not shaky. And if so, just grab a Phillips screwdriver that can fit in there and just tighten up the plate a little bit. All right, give me a thumbs up for that if that was helpful, guys. All right, and let me know in the comments down below if that's ever happened to you, because I know it's happened to me quite a few times. And I just tightened up this plate, as a matter of fact, tightened the crap out of it with an electric uh, screwdriver, as, actually. So I'm gonna let the rest of the stitch out, which it pretty much is already, and I'll be right back. A-Dub Productions. See? That's one of the reasons why I like this design. It's such an easy and simple stitch out. SE600 has done this part. Now on the machine, it tells you what part to load up next. It says it's asking for black and that's a five minute stitch out. It even gives you a little illustration of what it's supposed to look like. That's a benefit to buying the uh, newer ones versus somebody asked me, can I still use a 770? I mean, you can, but you know, the 70, 770, just as long as you know, that you're not gonna get a color screen and you're just gonna get like the numbers of the color right here, like at the bottom of the thread, it has a number. So just know that you're not getting a color screen, but you can go in the settings and you can change. So like, you know, like on your, you guys' machine, you probably still have the number right here, but you can go inside of the settings in here and change it. So it's the name like black, blue, green, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. So I'd rather see the name of the color rather than the number associated because different depending on where you get your thread from different manufacturers the numbers are different for the colors all right all right so just a you know just a little something to think about just a little something, something to think about a little something something you know what I mean? something something on the something, something all right so we are all loaded up only one thing left to do guys and you know what that is press the button and start it going here we go looking good looking good looking good Got that straight stitch going up on a Tuesday. Now we got that satin stitch going up. Is that a satin stitch? I don't know, but looks good so far, guys. Looks good so far. Like I said, this design is cool. Um, I should have actually changed the color of this part right here so it can pop more because it's black, but I should have made it a different color so that you can see it more on the shirt. That's a little tactic that you guys can do sometimes when you are embroidering something on the same color something so that you can see that something a little bit more. You know, just, just change what color thread you're using. And that's a simple, really simple fix. Let me angle some light, turn this light source up a little bit. Here we go, how's that guys? Is that better? Get a little brighter for you. Here we go. All right, so this design right here, now it's gonna go over top and in into the yellow. And sometimes when it does that, your machine can jump a little bit because the thread, it's embroidering on top of thread that's already existing. So when it jumps like that, don't panic too much. Something that you can do to kind of like prevent it from jumping so much is to make sure that you have a, uh, make sure you have a new needle 
and the needle a new needle can penetrate better obviously through all of the fabric and the and the thread that's already been embroidered on better all right because over time this needle going in and out it does get dull you know so a uh, brand new needle will uh, function better all right so I'm gonna let some of this embroider out and the next thing you got you guys are gonna see is uh, what I recommend that um, either where I recommend you make a cut or you're gonna see the uh, face and we're changing threads all right so so far so good let me know what you guys think in the comments down below um, we're embroidering directly on a shirt and so far I think it looks great let me know what you guys think man I think it looks super super great um, if you guys don't know how to hoop the shirt properly and what to use you have to use some spray on adhesive adhesive spray um, always 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 when you're embroidering on a garment use cutaway stabilizer never tearaway stabilizer never tearaway stabilizer let me say that again you never use tearaway stabilizer if you are embroidering onto a garment that people wear all right always use cutaway reason being is because you're gonna wash your clothes and if you're using tearaway stabilizer what do you think is gonna happen when you wash your clothes when you wash your clothes uh, the tear the stabilizer that's keeping the threads together because the embroidery machine actually embroidered onto the garment as well as a stabilizer. So the stabilizer now becomes part of the shirt. And if it washes away, your threads get a little bit loose and your design starts to look like mush over time. All right. So yeah, that's the, that's another tip of the day. All right. So, uh, there you guys have it. Also guys, I want to mention, been promoting it like crazy. I'm going to keep on promoting it. So uh, I, I, hope, I hope you guys don't mind, and I want to know if you guys mind, because I care about how you guys feel, you know what I mean, about me, you know, saying stuff, but, you know, it's my channel, so, I, you know, I gotta, gotta promote. Closed mouth, don't get fed, guys. So, my album, Rockin' With The Best, is on all streaming platforms right now, so go check it out. Give me some spins, put me on repeat, share it with your friends, put me on a playlist or two, you know what I mean? Rocking with the best by A Dub. It's on all streaming platforms, so go check it out right now. All right, be right back, guys. If you haven't done so already, please hit that like button. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. This part right here, I would stop the machine, guys. I would stop the machine at this part right here because I would want to trim this, trim this little thread right here because other than that, it's going to embroider over top of it again. And I hate to, for thread to embroider on top of thread. And then when the design is done, the, it's so, so hard to like clean it up. So, all right, that's the only thing that I would do like right while it's embroidering right now. Other than that, the design is perfect like to stitch out how it is. Just one stop and one trim. All right, so after this, actually we're gonna make another trim um, before it does the last part. But if you guys, as you guys can see, it looks pretty good right now as is. All right, it's just one more part. This is the white part or the chrome part, you could say. All right, so I'm gonna let this up, swipe it one time to release the thread. And now we're gonna change the threads to the chrome thread. In this case, we're using white thread. So pull that out, wind it up so it doesn't get to be a jumbled mess. And then you use a spool saver to save the spool so your thread doesn't get all over the place. All right, now let's put in our white thread over here. All right, this, this part right here is gonna take one minute. It's actually gonna take less than one minute, guys. One minute is like just the lowest it'll display on the screen. This part right here is probably gonna be like 30 seconds, maybe 40 seconds, I don't know. All right, so just thread the machine like that. Boom, 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 boom. You're ready to go. And I don't even have to like pull the thread all the way through because you don't have to do that all the time. And it's gonna jump a little bit. It's just gonna lay some white thread on top there to make kind of like an eye type of, type of looking thing. All right, boom. And you can barely even see that part. I don't even know if that part's worth doing, you know? So there we go. So let's see what we got right now. Let's pull it out, see what cleaning up we gotta do. Take all this from outside, make sure the shirt goes underneath. Make sure it doesn't get caught onto the needle because that could ruin your shirt. You know what I mean? So you want to carefully take that out. And let's check out the design. Let's check it out. On Right directly on a shirt, guys. Right directly on a shirt. Looks good. A few trims to make. I see two. There's one right here. 
Right. And then there's one right here. Didn't even trim that good. One right here and one right here. <laughs> Blow it off and look what we got. Lollipop, lollipop, ooh lally lal. This is a dope design. For, it was a client's design, obviously, like I said. So um, I think it's dope. Let me take it from off the shirt so you guys can get a full view and stuff. We still gotta, this is what you do when you're um, done this stuff. You just release it from the shirt, right? Cause you use your spray adhesive to keep it on the shirt. You release it. All right, just pull it up because the spray adhesive is sticky, sticky, but you just pull it up and then you take your scissors and you just trim close to, close to the thing, right? And just trim around the perimeter. Make sure you don't cut your shirt though. This part is, this part is very, very, you can cut your shirt if you're not paying attention. So gotta make sure you're paying attention. All right, come around this side. All right, get close to the stem right there. See my shirt, and that's it. Now this is what the back of it looks like, right? Not bad, you can trim up these threads if you want, right? So there's the back of it right there, looking good. You can leave that on right here, and then we go to the front. There you go, there you have it. Blata bing bata boom. Ada Productions. So that is it guys. I think our design came out great. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let me know which, which machine you have. The SE600, the P800, the SE1900, the SE800, the, no, no, the PE800, the PE77. Let me know which one you got. There's so many of them now, but um, I think right now, like I said, the best buy if you're just getting one would be the SE1900. I think I might swap this out for the SE1900. Somebody months ago recommended that I don't buy the SE1900 when I when I asked for um, an opinion from Dub Nation. So you guys let me know what you guys think. Should I upgrade to the SE1900 and just start showing you guys stuff on that? It has a larger embroidery area, so that might benefit you guys seeing videos um, and doing different things. We could start doing appliques and stuff like that. but. And the SE1900, you can pretty much do the same thing on the P800. It has the same embroidery field, but uh, the SE1900 is obviously SE, sewing and embroidery, and the PE800 is only embroidery. It doesn't have an attachment to detach, whatever. So, yeah. So, that's why I say the SE19 is a good buy. I um, think I might switch to that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, follow me on Instagram, Instagram, A-Dub Productions. Follow me on my other YouTube channel, Alan Wade, for the vlogs. And stream the album, man. Rocking with the best on all streaming platforms by A-Dub. Rocking with the best by A-Dub. All right? Talk to you guys on the next video. Peace. Turn up that. Crank it up. I listen to the rest when you're rockin' with the best, baby. Like this, like this.